Hello YouTube, Terrell here with Big Time Nice here for another episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 3, Episode 15. Uh, last episode, it was a pretty heavy one. Uh, we got a new watcher, uh, Wesley. Um, so we're seeing how that shakes up with Giles and the rest of the gang once they're uh, introduced to him. I don't think everyone met him yet. Um, and we have uh, Buffy and Faith. Um, yeah, Faith uh, accidentally killed someone and she dumped the body as well. Um, you know, mysterious deaths and many deaths in Sunnydale is not a new thing. Um, but this is the first time they kill someone somewhat innocent. You know, he, he, he is working with the mayor and I, 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 I thought the mayor set him up, but I guess not, because uh, at the end, the mayor was asking where he was, so, um, and I don't think he knows everything about what the mayor is doing, so maybe he is just really innocent, he was just, why was he there, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, she murdered, uh, or she killed him, and, uh, it wasn't like it was premeditated, but she killed him, and, um, dumped the evidence, and, yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't know whose side to be on because I'm, I'm, I'm definitely like, <laughs> like in this universe, in this, like being the Slayer and stuff like that, um, not like turning myself in and going to prison for the rest of my life. Um, it is un unfortunate. Uh, I don't know, people, <laughs> people want something they'll die all the time. He shouldn't be running out of the streets like that. Um, he could have easily been killed. He was around vampires. So, I don't know. Something about that's fishy. And uh, it's, uh, I just, all I know is I'm not going to prison for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, Buffy wanted to handle it a different way. Um, at least called a the police but he seemed dead so I don't know where she was going with that actually because what would Buffy do I know Buffy wouldn't just go to jail you know uh, but anyways but the way Faith is like putting it behind her is also a little disturbing like she's kind of like locked it in a safe and key somewhere in the back of her mind and like forgetting about it and that's not good either Anyways, we're going to get on with it. Uh, please watch your copy and then come over and watch my reaction. All right, guys, we're just going to get into it. Here we go. You know, in this whole series, something like this was bound to happen. You know, <laughs> like... No one's gonna have their hands clean by the end. Fishermen discovered the body today, the victim of a brutal stabbing. Authorities and citizens alike were shocked when the slain man was identified as Deputy Mayor Alan Finch. Still reeling from the news, Mayor Wilkins had this to say. Mr. Finch was not only my longtime aide and associate, he was a close personal friend. I promise you, I will not rest until whoever did this is found and brought to justice. Thank you very much. Do they go this hard for all the other missing people and dead bodies that they find? <laughs> well, what about the mysterious bite marks on people's necks? But he was deputy mayor, so I guess he has some... I don't want to call anyone else more important than someone else, but, you know, he, he was higher up on the chain, though. It is what it is. No, Buffy's right. The deputy mayor's murder was the result of human malice. Nothing supernatural about it. We don't know that for certain. I say it merits investigation. Which I'm sure the police are doing. In the meantime, if you ask me, there are better uses for the Slayer's time. Ah, but I don't believe I did. Ask you. Considering the success of your previous adventure. Don't let me interrupt. Wait, let me interrupt. I'm in a hurry. What did you need? A psych class. Freud and Young. Oh, Wesley is infatuated with Cordelia. Okay. 
Calm down, dude. She's in high school. Does everybody know about you? She's a friend. Let's not exaggerate. So, you're the new watcher. Wesley Wyndham Price. I like a man with two last names. I'm Cordelia. I mean, as the actress, she doesn't look like she belongs in high school, but she's playing a role. <laughs> she's in high school, dude, so calm down. In fact, I am here to watch girls. They're then about Buffy and Faith, to be specific. Well, it's about time we got some fresh blood around here. Uh-huh. Well, fresh. Yes. Okay, this is beyond cringe. Let's move on. <laughs> She's cheeky, isn't she? Uh, first word jail, second word bait. Yeah, jail bait. Calm down, man. <laughs> so, you're gonna rat me out? Is that it? Faith, we have to tell. I can't pretend to investigate this. I can't pretend that I don't know. Oh, I see, but you can pretend that Angel's still dead when you need to protect him. I am trying to protect you. Look, if, if we don't do the right thing, it's only gonna make things worse for you. Worse than jail for the rest of my young life? No way. Faith, what we did was- it Yeah, we. You were right there beside me when this whole thing went down. Anything I have to answer for, you do too. You're a part of this, B. All the way. That is true. I mean, you were there. You, you were killing things as well. Like, it easily could have been you, but... Well, maybe not. Buffy is more aware. Like, she, she saw... She noticed that he was different. Um, Willow looks like Chucky right there. Is she wearing the Chucky outfit? <laughs> man, they're going hard with this investigation, man. <laughs> what is it? Bombshell. The deputy mayor had wooden splinters in his wound. Struck right through the heart with a sharp pointed object now. Word is someone was fighting vampires not a block away from the scene. Give me smart money says some slayer did this job. What do you think he talked to them? If he did, I'm thinking he said the wrong thing. Well, this is exciting. A slayer up for murder one. That's sunshine and roses to me, it really is. <laughs> I like the mayor as the actor too. He he's he's good for his role. It's very unique. Like happy, cheery, go lucky, evil ass dude. <laughs> I came out of nowhere. I know. Whatever. I'm not looking to hug and cry and learn and grow. I'm just saying happen quick, you know? Who cares what this guy was about? It's kind of moot now, don't you think? I don't think he was in that alley by chance. I think he was looking for us. I'd like to know why. So I think there's some big conspiracy? You were saying... Yeah, all his files are cleaned out. They already went through all this shit. That's what the mayor was shredding. Buffy knows that guy, Trig. Anyways, how many people do you think we've saved by now? Thousands? And didn't you stop the world from ending? Because in my book, that puts you and me in the plus column. We help people. It doesn't mean we can do whatever we want. Why not? The guy offers no Gandhi. I mean, we just saw he was mixed up in dirty dealings. Maybe. But what if he was coming to us for help? What if he was? You're still not seeing the big picture, V. Something made us different. I think he was coming for help. Well... Why did he come at that time? You know, in that place. He doesn't know where they hold up. That's right. Better. You know, the library, Sunnydale High School. <laughs> in the balance, nobody's gonna cry over some random bystander who got caught in the crossfire. I am. That's your loss. 
Right now, Faith is not really a good person, though. <laughs> she goes by the beat of her own drum a little too much. It's just a, a complete loner. Tell me again. You got home at what time last night? Late. Um, a, a little past one, I guess. How do you suspect Buffy? You can explain to me what a girl your age is doing out all night. Just hanging. Hanging. Oh, the mayor, the mayor put them on it. Okay. It's with my friend Buffy. We were at Faith's, watching TV. What did you watch? Some old movie. Infomercial. <laughs> That's funny, because I got a couple of witnesses who put you near the alley. Witnesses? Yeah, I'm not answering any questions until I have a lawyer. Like, where are these witnesses? Who are you talking about? What? Why is Willow like wearing this outfit? It's crazy though. I want to be fester free. Yeah, me too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I completely understand why you and Faith have been doing the bonding thing. You guys work together. You... Willow's worried that Buffy has a new best friend. <laughs> Buffy's on a completely different level with what she's going through. Slayers only attitude. Hey, since when wouldn't I understand? Y you talk to me about everything. It's like all of a sudden I'm not cool enough for you because I can't kill things with my bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, Willow, you're so off right here. Don't think it's about you. Uh, I don't really know how to say this, so I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I know I've kept things from you before, but... But, um... Wait, did Faith put the blame on Buffy? Faith is dirty if she did. I told him. You told him? I had to. He had to know what you did. What I did. <laughs> Faith is something else, man. Just no. That's just not what happened. I'm here, no. It really, Giles? You can't be serious. You're setting me up. Get my office now. Faith, I'm talking to you in the morning. You're not gonna. Now. What? After all this time, you're, you're, you're not even going to listen to Buffy? Or are you just playing? Um, sorry. You gotta give Buffy the benefit of the doubt, though. Jaws, I didn't do this. I swear. Look, I know that I messed up badly. But the murder, it, it was... I know. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Jaws is smarter than that. She may have many talents, Buffy, but fortunately lying is not one of them. Oh. Oh. Giles playing 3D chess. <laughs> she's unstable, Buffy. She's utterly unable to accept responsibility. She's freaking. So, so then we, we just have to help her deal, right? She's in denial. There is no help for her until she admits what happened. I could talk to her. Perhaps. Or maybe I'm too close. Maybe, maybe one of the guys could. We should meet. I mean, it may be that they're seeing a different side of her. Okay. In the meantime, no one else is to know. Are you listening, Wesley? Of course. This is. Extremely delicate. If we scare her off now, we may lose her forever. Are you going to report to the council or call the police, which would be ridiculous? Like that intervention thing you guys did on me? As I recall, Xander and I nearly came to blows. Uh, you nearly came to blows, Buffy. I nearly came to loss of limbs. Faith is too defensive for a confrontation like that. 
She'd respond better to the one-on-one -on -one approach. Well, I can be the one. On her one. Let's rephrase. I think she might listen to me. We kind of have um, No. A you just had a, a physical thing for a couple minutes. <laughs> I don't see it that way. I mean, of, of all of us, you're the one person, arguably, that Faith has had the least contact with. Yeah, but we hung out a little recently, and she seemed to be, um, responsive. When did you guys hang out? Oh, she was fighting one of the <laughs> Damn. Willow catches on, Xander. Come on now. And you guys talked? Not extensively, no. Then why would you... <laughs> Oh. I don't mean to say oh, I got it before. They slept together. Fine, fine, let's, let's, let's move on. Uh, I, look, I, I know that you mean Los Ander, but, um... <laughs> Giles got so uncomfortable right she there. doesn't take the guys that she has a connection with. Very seriously. And they're they're kind of a big joke to her. No offense. <gasps> oh no, I mean why would I be offended by that? However, if you, you still want to be of assistance, I, I I need some help with research. But there's still the business of the mayor and Mr. Trick to attend to. Yeah, they they seem pretty good. Man, Xander's continuously like upsetting Willow. So Willow's back with uh, Oz, right? Uh, but she still has deep feelings for Xander. Like, does she still want Xander and her to hook up? Or it's kind of... And I kind of wish Xander didn't, like, like, speak about that in front of everyone like that. Or a hint at it. I wonder if this is going to be Angel or maybe Wesley. No, Xander. What? Idiot. You may not think so, but I sort of know you. And I've seen you post battle, and I know firsthand that you're um like a wild thing, and half the time you don't know what you're doing. And you're living proof of that, aren't you? See, you can try to hurt me. But right now you need someone on your side. What happened wasn't your fault. Now, I'm going to testify to that in court. Uh, okay. If you need me. No. I thought we had a connection. <laughs> you want to feel our connection? It's just skin. What's happening here? I see. I want. Faith is stronger and more dominant. Uh, so this could actually be, you know, grape. <laughs> it was more than that. I could do anything to you right now and you want me to. I can make you scream. Xander, resist. I could make you die. Whoa, she is, yeah, she's choking him? What's going on? Faith is crazy right now. Thank goodness, Angel. <laughs> she was about to kill Xander. The fuck? Giles said with counseling, they might not even need to lock her up. That's not what I mean. She's taking a life. I know. She's got a taste for it now. Is that how it works? You get a taste for it after you've done it? <laughs> I know what's going on with you. Join the club. Everybody seems to have a theory. Mm. But I know what it's like to take a life, feel a future, a world of possibilities. I like this. Really good episode. Like they're focusing on, on Faith right here after what she did. I wish they did this with Giles. 
and what he, you know, did to Buffy, but whatever. <laughs> Professional couldn't have helped me. Not an interrogation, but just addressing the issue. You know, the violation. You don't have to disappear into the darkness. Fucking Wesley. Do they know about Buffy and Angel's uh, relationship? Because why wouldn't they just kill Angel right there? Tighten her restraints. Okay, there's no point in fighting. I'll have to disagree with you on that one. Now unlock these or I'll pop this guy's head like a grape. Don't even think about it. Really? Wesley? Faith, you can't keep running. Run again, Wes. What happened to all those men? Like, you only have one extra guard, like, in the back of that truck? You don't give up, do you? None of my friends, no. Are we gonna get a final Buffy and Faith epic showdown here? It was good, wasn't it? The sex, the danger. I had a party we even dug in when he went psycho. No. See, you need me to tell the line because you're afraid you'll go over it, aren't you, B? You can't handle watching me live in my own way, having a blast because it tempts you. You know it could be you. <laughs> There's my girl. No, I'm not gonna do this. Why not? Feels good. Blood rising. Trick just waited for Buffy <laughs> to recover to, to knock her like that. Babe, you're not gonna help Buffy. She saved you from the crate. Once you've tasted a slayer, you never want to go back. Oh no. No, this is no good. <laughs> Damn, that's how Trick goes out. You have a funny line at the end though. You sent your boy to kill me. That's right, I did. He's dust. I thought he might be, what with you standing here and all. I guess that means you have a job opening. Okay. <laughs> okay, Faith is going that way, okay. So Faith doesn't want to, uh receive help from her friends and instead seek out the services of the people who are trying to kill her makes sense <laughs> she is at the bottom right now and so i don't know the gang has to do what they can to uh i don't know faith has gone full heel like in wrestling full heel <laughs> um 
So it's going to be interesting seeing uh, how this progresses going forward. Um, yeah, very good episode. Very good episode. You, you know, you can't do a standard intervention with faith. Like, like not like with Buffy. Like, even with Buffy, like, it, it really didn't help all that much and make things kind of worse at the time. But with, uh, but Buffy did need to be told that stuff. Um, but with Faith, you know, she's not the kind of person for intervention. She, she will bail out with the quickness and just leave. Uh, but anyways, all in all, really good episode. Uh, thank you for watching Big Time Nights. And uh, see you on future uh, reactions. Alright guys, until next time, peace.